Good evening, this is Kalpana Magar, the top headlines are Odisha Chief Minister Naveen Patnaik on Monday visited the project site of India's first indoor athletic stadium at Kalinga Stadium complex Bhubaneswar. He reviewed the project progress and inspected the work site. He, he expressed satisfaction over the project progress. The indoor athletic stadium is being built in Kalinga Stadium at a cost of Rs. 120 crore and will be ready during the year 2022. This is the first indoor athletic in India and will help the athletes practice throughout the year. The Chief Minister said this indoor athletic facility will be a major boost for the development of athletics in India and will become the hub to create champions in coming years. The facility can host national and international indoor athletic events. There will be residential facility for more than 100 athletes for full-time coaching. Later, Chief Minister visited the Tennis Center project. The center court of the Tennis Center is being constructed for hosting the national and international events. The center will have all facilities to conduct the ITF tournaments, tournaments Davis Cup, etc. The indoor athletic stadium and the tennis center are both part of the state sports infrastructure development project, which aims at transformative changes in the sports sector in Orissa under the 5T initiative of the state government. Over rupees 300 crore worth projects are under execution in the Kalinga Stadium, including the Indoor Athletics Stadium, Indoor Aquatic Stadium, Tennis Center, Staff Accommodation and Hockey HPC Building. Thereafter, Chief Minister watched the football match of the ongoing Orissa Women's Football League at the main football pitch of Kalinga Stadium. He interacted with the women footballers and assured them all support for their football career. Chief Minister met the Indian hockey teams, men and women, at the hockey stadium and inquired about the stay and practice facilities. The players expressed their gratitude for the support Chief Minister has extended for hockey development. The Chief Minister wished them good luck for the upcoming pro league matches and assured them all support and hoped that they will aim to get the medals for the country in the Asian and this year. Security forces on Monday recovered a huge cache of explosives and country-made weapons from a Maoist dump at Swabiman Anchal in Malkangiri district. The Maoist dump was busted near a forest in the vicinity of Nadmenjiri village under Jadombo police limits during an extensive area domination and combing operation conducted by SOG, DVF and BSF Jawans. Arms, IEDs, explosives, Maoist literature and other incriminating articles have been recovered from the dump. Malkangiri SP Nitesh Wadwani said it is suspected that these articles were intended to make IEDs and target villagers as well as police personnel during panchayat polls. ASP Trinath Mishra given compulsory retirement. The Orissa government on Monday gave compulsory retirement to additional superintendent of police Trinath Mishra. Recently, Mishra was arrested by vigilance department officials on charges of amassing assists beyond his known sources of income. As many as 152 government officials have been sacked so far on charges of corruption and inefficiency. The Serum Institute of India has sought emergency use authorization from COVAX for the 12 to 17 year age group. Several parts of Odessa will experience rain and thunderstorm activities from February 25th. This was informed by the India Meteorological Department. Archaeological Survey of India DG V. Vidya Bhatti reviewed the Puri Sri Mandir Parikrama Marg Master Plan. The DG also 
visited the Lingaras temple in Bhubaneswar and discussed about preservation of the architectural heritage of the temple. Total 257 platoons of police force and 1473 mobile patrolling parties along with district police officers have been deployed for the fourth phase panchayat election to be held on February 22nd in 227 districts of Odessa. Thank you. That